Pakistan is on the brink, increasing violence and economic crisis. Political instability and intimidation are among the challenges facing the country heading into its general election. The South Asian nation of 241 million people has been in turmoil since the ousting of the cricketer turned politician and Prime Minister Imran Khan back in April of 2022. But Pakistan has always experienced political volatility. Since it gained independence in 1947, no Prime Minister is yet to complete their full five-year term. So security is tight with thousands of officers stationed at polling centres to ensure the vote goes smoothly. There will be 6,500 police officers who will be deployed for these duties on the um, uh, election day. In addition to this, there will be frontier constabulary officers. There will be officers from the Azad and Kashmir police and also from Pakistan Rangers and Pakistan Armed Forces who are providing a very essential part of the security for these general elections of 2024. Former PM Nawaz Sharif is considered the frontrunner. He returned from self-imposed exile in London last year and his convictions and a lifetime ban from politics have been cleared by the courts. Already a three-time leader, the 74-year-old's re-election prospects have been bolstered after gaining the support of Pakistan's powerful military. His rival is Bilawal Bhutto Zadawi. A one-time foreign minister, he's the son of the former leader Benazir Bhutto, who was assassinated while campaigning in 2007. So notably absent from this election is Imran Khan. The popular leader has been disqualified and barred from public office. Plus, he is in jail on corruption and criminal charges. Khan has been detained since August. He denies wrongdoing and has blamed military generals for removing him from power. There are 127 million registered voters in Pakistan. About 55 million are aged between 18 and 35. Turnout, though, is always a concern. Just half of the electorate voted in 2018. And there are already claims of pre-poll vote rigging and harassment. We deplore all acts of violence against political parties and candidates and urge the authorities to uphold the fundamental freedoms necessary for an inclusive and meaningful democratic process. Security issues aside, the incoming government will have to grapple with serious economic challenges. The value of the currency has plummeted, inflation is soaring and an IMF bailout is due to expire in March. In Islamabad, people say life is tough. The new government may be better, but what kind of future will they think about for us? What will they do for us? What will they think for us? We are facing a lot of difficulties. The government doesn't think about us after elections. They say, now the election is done. Now you go back your way and we go ours. Previously, the gas bill was 3,000 rupees per month. Now it is 9,000 rupees. The electricity bill used to be 1,000. Then it went all the way from 10,000 to 18,000. But this month, our electricity bill is 25,000 rupees, which we didn't pay. <laughs> 